Tonight, hundreds gathered for a vigil for 20-year-old Brandon Weber. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Weber was wanted for a crime in Mississippi. U.S. Marshals shot and killed him Wednesday night. Local 24 news anchor Rudy Williams was at the vigil this evening, and he joins us in the studio tonight. Rudy? Hey, good evening, Richard and Katina. There was a calm at the home where Weber was killed by marshals this week. Meantime, answers hang in the balance just two days after the shooting that rocked the Frazier community. Now, I was there with photographers Zorin Tessic tonight as people with balloons filled Durham Street and Frazier where the young father was gunned down by U.S. Marshals. TBI says Weber was shot after he rammed a stolen car he was driving into law enforcement cars as they tried to arrest him. Well, investigators say Weber stole the car and shot the owner five times on June 3rd in Hernando, Mississippi. The shooting triggered a violent standoff between protesters and police nearby on Overton Crossing Wednesday night. Tonight, friends and supporters gathered with family as they try to reconcile the circumstances surrounding Weber's death. Now, community leaders say many of those who caused the violent scene played out on television Wednesday night were not from Frazier. Those leaders say the community is eager to restore the calm they know to their streets. Rudy Williams, Local 24 News. Rudy, thanks.